Dragon's Dogma 2 dumps you into a vast open world where there's too much to see and explore, and because we've been playing for dozens of hours, there's a few locations we think you need to check out immediately. There are valuable treasures to loot, useful NPCs to meet, and dragons to kill with almost no effort. Here are 8 awesome locations you'll want to visit sooner rather than later. A spooky cave located northeast of the Border Watch outpost. Beware the chimera guarding the centre of the cave, but on the upper levels you'll find a mysterious library with one very important spell. The nation's death knell spell is one of the most powerful in the entire game, and a required book you'll need for a quest in the far future. One of the very best locations to scrounge early in the game. Vernworth Castle is packed with chests to open and valuable gear. Go during the day and you'll be free to explore. Look behind the throne or in Sven's chambers in the upper area. There are multiple instances of guard armour and noble clothing to find. Noble clothing is required for future quests, so grab it and store it early. A little visited area of Vernworth, the Diviner's Salon is a seemingly useless NPC in the capital city. For 50 gold, she'll offer you clues for your priority quest. Some quests get mumbo jumbo fortunes that don't help at all, but other quests, she'll give you the exact locations and names to check first. If you are ever stumped on a quest, it never hurts to check in with the Diviner. In the nearby Merchant Quarter, we're not actually visiting the Star Drop Inn. Outside the inn, talk to the NPC named Mildred. She'll give you her house for a full 7 day trial period. The house has a bed for free rest and a storage chest that's shared with any inn location. After 7 days, Mildred will return home and offer to sell you the house for 20,000 gold. That sounds like a lot, but the house will pay for itself. As you progress through the story, friendly NPCs you've helped will send you prizes or even stop by your house to offer quests. The ruined village of Harve is a seemingly pointless pit stop to the west of Vernworth. You will need to go to this village during the main story quest Monster Culling, but you'll want to stick around. Complete the Scaly Invaders quest that appears on your first visit, then return after a few days. Clear out the village once more and then look around. In the coastal hut, a house marked on your map on the edge of town, you'll find a unique NPC. Talk to him to unlock the Mystic Spearhand Advanced Vocation. The Sacred Arbor, one of the best locations for archers, is located northwest of Vernworth. Before going, talk to the elf in the Merchant Quarters, standing near the blacksmith, and complete his quest. This will lead to a series of quests that will permanently unlock the Sacred Arbor to outsiders and give you a chance to buy an incredibly powerful spear. Finish the quests right, and you'll even earn the respect of the Archer Master and get the vocation's unlockable ability. Located far west of Vernworth, the city of Checkpoint West Town is right on the border with the Southern Nation. There's an old bandit named Ibrahim that serves some very important functions. He'll collect lost items you've dropped and create forgeries of items for you. Most forgeries are perfect duplicates, so you can make new weapons, armor sets, or just about anything. It's important for making copies of keys or solving quests in unique ways. Experiment and you can do some really fun tricks with forgery. The ancient battleground are spooky ruins of a castle located north of Checkpoint Rest Town, and this is where you can kill your first dragon. Dragons are powerful opponents that drop wake stones when they're killed, and the ancient battleground makes killing one easy. This area is also packed with useful gear like the Black Matter Hammer. Delve even deeper and you'll find major secrets that we will not spoil here. There is so much more to explore and we've only listed areas in the north of the map. The deserts are also full of mysteries that you'll absolutely want to solve and you'll definitely want to explore deeper into the ancient battleground. There's a massive surprise hiding inside those mountains.